The rhythm of band is the ancestor, if you want, of the karaoke. So everybody knows the karaoke. You go to the bar, you sing, you see the arrow following a text, or you see the text scrolling. But everybody doesn't know that the whole thing started in the 20s. In 1923, if I remember correctly, the French guy, Charles de la Commune, had this genius idea of creating a second 35 millimeters in the theater just for the piano player. At this time, the movies didn't have sound, so you had a piano player doing the music in the movie live during the session. Most of the guys were improvising at this time. But to make it a little bit more interesting, they said, oh, we would like to have a chart so we know what to play. So Charles de la Commune said, okay, if we have one projector to project the movie, we can also have a second projector to project just the chart and the music. So the first Ritmo band was not about dialogue, it was about music. A few years later, somebody in France came with the idea of, if we can do it with the music, why don't we do it with the dialogue? The first Ritmo band was actually for Felix the Cat, the cartoon. So when the actors were doing the dubbing, they were seeing the movie, and they were also seeing the second 35 millimeter with the dialogue written on it. You have like a bar below the screen, and the dialogue is just scrolling like that. And when the dialogue hits the bar, you talk. The dialogue was written, and it was handwritten on the 35 millimeter. It's pretty small to write on a 35 millimeters, but that's what people were doing, and we're still doing that until the, the year 2000. The huge advantage of the Ritmo Band is that it's really fast because you don't have to look at the paper, you just look at the text. It's extremely accurate for the lip sync because the words are just scrolling slowly and you just follow them. And it's also very good for the quality of the sound because by looking at the screen, you don't need to move your head like that to look at the text and look at the screen at the same time. So the sound that you are projecting in your microphone is the same all the time. So you have the same perspective, same projection, the quality is just much better. You had to wait until the years 2000 to see the first digital rhythm band, if you want, uh, emerge. And uh, our platform, uh, Studio Next, is really following the same concept. It's based on the rhythm. Yeah. <laughs>